Shemuel Shani, 2 Samuel 2. And it came to pass after this that David inquired of Yahuwah, saying, Shall I go up into any of the cities of Yahudah? And Yahuwah said unto him, Go up. And David said, Whither shall I go up? And he said, Unto Hebron. So David went up thither, and his two women also, Achinoam, the Yizri Alith, and Avigail, Naval's woman, the Carmeli. And his men that were with him did David bring up, every man with his household. And they dwelt in the cities of Hebron. And the men of Yahudah came. And there they anointed Eth David, king, over the house of Yahudah. And they told David, saying, that the men of Yavish Gilad were they that buried Eth Shaul. And David sent messengers unto the men of Yavish Gilad, and said unto them, Blessed be ye of Yahuwah that ye have showed this kindness unto your Lord, even unto Shaul, and have buried him. And now, Yahuwah, show kindness and truth unto you, and I also will requite you this kindness, because ye have done this thing. Therefore now, let your hands be strengthened, and be ye valiant, for your master Shaul is dead, and also the house of Yahudah have anointed me king over them. But Avner, the son of Ner, captain of Shaul's host, took Eth Lish Bosheth, the son of Shaul, and brought him over to Machne Yaim, and made him king over Gilad and over the Asherim, and over Yisrael, and over Ephraim, and over Binyamin, and over all Yashereel. Ish-bosheth, Shaul's son, was forty years old when he began to reign over Yashereel, and reigned two years. But the house of Yahudah followed David. And the time that David was king in Hebron over the house of Yahudah was seven years and six months. And Avner, the son of Ner, and the servants of Aish Bosheth, the son of Shaul, went out from Machan Naim to Givan. And Yoav, the son of Suruiah, and the servants of David went out and met together by the pool of Givan. And they sat down, the one on the one side of the pool, and the other on the other side of the pool. And Avner said to Yoav, Let the young men now arise and play before us. And Yoav said, Let them arise. Then there arose and went over by number twelve of Binyamin, which pertained to Aish Bosheth the son of Shaul, and twelve of the servants of David. And they caught every one his fellow by the head, and thrust his sword in his fellow's side, so they fell down together. Wherefore that place was called Che, Chelkath, Chatz, Serim, which is in Givan. And there was a very sore battle that day, and Avner was beaten, and the men of Yashereel, before the servants of David. And there were three sons of Suriah, there, Yoav, and Davishai, and Ashael. And Ashael was as light of foot as a wild roe. And Ashael pursued after Avner. And in going he turned not to the right hand, nor to the left, from following Avner. 
Then Avner looked behind him and said, Are you Asha'el? And he answered, I am. And Avner said to him, Turn aside to your right hand or to your left, and lay hold on one of the young men, and take eth his armor. But Asha'el would not turn aside from following of him. And Avner said again to Asha'el, Turn aside from following me. Wherefore should I smite you to the ground? How then should I hold up my face to Yaav, your brother? Howbeit he refused to turn aside. Wherefore Avner, with the hinder end of the spear, smote him under the fifth rib, that the spear came out behind him. And he fell down there, and died in the same place. And it came to pass that as many as came to the place where Asha'el fell down and died, stood still. Yoav also and Avishai pursued after Avner, and the sun went down when they were come to the hill of Amma, that lies before Giach, by the way of the wilderness of Givan. And the children of Binyamin gathered themselves together after Avner, and became one troop, and stood on the top of a hill. Then Avner called to Yoav and said, Shall the sword devour forever? Know you not that it will be bitterness in the latter end? How long shall it be then, ere you bid the people return from following their brethren? And Yoav said, As Elohim lives, unless you had spoken, surely then in the morning the people had gone up, every one from following his brother. So Yoav blew a shofar, and all the people stood still, and pursued after Yashadael no more. Neither fought they any more. And Avner and his men walked all that night through the plain, and passed over Eth the Ardan, and went through all the Bithran, and they came to Machanan Aim. And Yoav returned from following Avner, and when he had gathered Eth all the people together, there lacked of David's servants. Nineteen men and Asha'el. But the servants of David had smitten of Binyamin and of Avner's men, so that three hundred and threescore men died, and they took up Eth Asha'el and buried him in the sepulcher of his father, which was in Bait Lechem. And Yoav and his men went all night. And they came to Hebron at break of day.